Dear students, uh, today we discuss about uh, the very important chapter, uh, the realm, which we have uh, already uh, discussed, a brief atmosphere. Atmosphere is mainly a study of gases, we can say, because it's composed of sea of gases, of many different types of gases, uh, dominating oxygen, nitrogen. Uh, these two composed uh, of uh, other gases. And uh, you know, we breathe air. We take oxygen out of this air and we breathe out carbon dioxide. So that is the, the main pattern of human beings. So we take oxygen and we give out, we breathe out carbon dioxide. And atmosphere is having this gases, different type of gases. It's not only uh, protecting us from the sun rays, also it is giving life to the other plants, animals and other life. So without atmosphere, without air, there is no possibility of life. So today uh, we discuss about the other gases and uh, what sort of, you know, the importance of the air. Air has got the wind, you know, moving air is called wind. So wind has got its own property. You know, with the help of wind, water coming from the oceans, you know, uh, is going upward and becoming clouds and then due to the precipitation, we get rains. And these rains, again, erode the rock material and we are getting the different type of soils. Through these soils, we can grow vegetables, fruits and other important, uh, you know, uh, crops. So, in turn, we get carbohydrates, proteins, fats, sugars, you know, other minerals, etc. from these plants. So, uh, and these plants, the very interesting thing is, plants take carbon dioxide with the help of water under the sunlight. They become another byproducts. It's nothing but glucose. That means this is nothing but your photosynthesis without which you can't get any food from the plants. So we get uh, all these fruits, vegetables and other grains from these plants just because of this carbon dioxide, water and, and importantly sunlight. These atmospheric winds transports water from the oceans as we have discussed like forming rains. So these uh, rains not only giving us uh, water, the fresh water, also erode the rocks and like you know, we have discussed like weathering, you know, transportation, deposition. So and we are getting different types of soils from these rocks with the help of winds only. And you can uh, imagine without wind we can't even fly our kites, the beautiful kites. And we can't get the sounds, musics, the different kinds of music we can only get only through, with the help of atmospheric winds. If you go for a vacuum where there is no air, you can't hear any sound or even any different types of music also. That means wind helps us even for the sounds of music and you know, flying our kites, even birds fly, they soar with the help of winds. And also, uh, these winds will help us to, you know, uh, get other, uh, like, you know, uh, rains and other stuff. Atmosphere is a thin blanket, you know, surrounding the Earth. It's like, you know, NASA. As you know, NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, describes that this atmosphere is like, you know, uh, if you think that earth is a basketball and uh, atmosphere is nothing but like you know plastic cover wrapped on it 
So like that they have explained in, in some terms, like, you know, these gases, this blanket, imagine this blanket is just like very thin, we call is thousand kilometers from the earth, this blanket of gases, or you can say it's atmosphere. So these gases, they compress and expands. You can uh, stuff this uh, gas inside a small hole for example in your cycle tube that we stuff more air and air and this kind of compression or is called as nothing but compression of gases wherein which you can stuff more and more this gas or air inside the very small holes so atmosphere is composed of these gases mainly oxygen and nitrogen oxygen itself is having 21 percentage of total volume of the gas air and nitrogen is itself 78 percent so you can imagine only these two elements nitrogen and oxygen is covering 99 percent of total volume of the gases and rest one percent consists of several different kinds of gases like methane, natural gas, we use in our cylinders to cook. So that is nothing but a gas, methane, also available in the atmosphere. And argon, neon, so all several other gases like carbon dioxide is present in that 1%. Yeah, apart from uh, dominating oxygen, nitrogen, we have the other important gases. For example, you know, water vapor, also a gas form of water, you know that. It's composed 0.4% of total volume of our air and atmosphere. And CO2, 0.03% also is a, having the, uh, the gas. And the ammonia, ozone, methane, organ, neon, etc. These are all the gases you know, composed of you know, this atmosphere and having less than 1% of the total volume of the gases. Including this, we have the dust fine dust particles usually we call as particulates particulates are nothing but the fine dust present in the atmosphere and uh, you know uh, you can see this fine dust for example if you have uh, seen the sun orange sun during uh, sunset time and even during the sunrise time this orange color is how you got this just because of this particulates particulates helps and also uh, the conditions also will affect atmospheric conditions also affect with the help of this particulates this fine dust and this fine dust formed how due to human activity for example if you are burning a fire uh, wood this wood will give the blackish the ashes and these ashes will mix up with the other gases likewise sandstorms also will mix up these fine dust particles and natural uh, forest fires also will form this kind of dust particles so these also you know uh, it's like you know includes our atmosphere uh, this blanket so these particulates uh, benefits us at the same time they cause problems too yeah these particulates causes problems what kind of problems we see usually for example if it is if you feel more uh, dust in the atmosphere in the air it's it makes you know more difficult for us to breathe so it makes more uh, difficult to breathe at the same time if they fall on the leaves for example if they settle on the leaves it makes so it causes the you know photosynthesis cannot be taken uh, because the sun rays are covered you know and uh, they are uh, you know they are not touching this leaf that means once if they fall on the leaves they can't even grow because of there is no process of photosynthesis they can't take even sun rays directly because of this dust is covered these leaves so this kind of problems also caused by this particulates and particulates also alters the temperature 
for example and even rainfall for example if you are getting the rain for example if someone is expecting today the rain so you are not getting that rain just because of these particulates because they form the layer and they uh, disturb the and they alter the temperatures at the same time they alter the rainfall also so that is about your particulates